Is going on a winery tour and wine tasting a good first date? I wanted to find out, so I brought local social influencer Stephanie Goodwin along with me to get her opinion. We hopped in the helicopter and flew the short distance from St. Petersburg, Florida over to Plant City, which is just on the northeast side of Tampa, and we landed at Keel and Curly Winery. Wendy, the chief of customer experience, met us at the helicopter and guided us around their facility for a private tour. Of course, since I was flying the helicopter, I could not drink, but Stephanie was able to enjoy. With a nice beverage in hand, we were off. This is our backyard area. We do so much back here. Every first Saturday of the month, we do a sip and shop. So we end up getting like uh, 20, 30 vendors out here. Mm -hmm. And we do like a big craft market. So we have oh, you know, cool. people wow. that sell jewelry. Um, and that's like right in this area here. Yeah, this whole area. So all of this will be covered with vendors all the way out there. When is that's that again? Issue. It's every first Saturday of the month. Oh, cool. Oh. I want to come. Yeah. The pig, um, Desi right here in the middle, our goat, and then Lucy all the way in the back loving the hay. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're super sweet. They <laughs> love people. They love kids. They love it because we all feed them all the time. Yeah, all, so, of our, that... all of our scraps in our restaurant, we try to feed them. So <laughs> we're always trying to make sure that we, we live on our animals. Planted is for our kitchen. Different types of lettuce and greens. And these are all jalapenos. So we have all the hay there because we wanted to protect it from all the cold recently. Mm -hmm. So at some time it was like all covered in hay to protect <laughs> from the freeze. And at the same time, we had to water all of the strawberries really heavily to make sure that they were protected from the freeze. Yeah. So they all got frozen. All that water protected them. The best Super one. red, all the way to the top. Like, you see how some of these are still yellow at top? Yeah. Try to find one that's all the way red, and they're delicious. And we don't spray them with anything. So, so you can just eat it? Yeah, they're all organically grown. Oh! <laughs> I know. It's like... One of my favorite things. And then all of April. My goodness. I love that because I grew up in Maine and we had so many wild blueberries. Yes. And we used, to, we used to pick them all throughout the summer. So. Well, everybody needs to try a strawberry. So mm -hmm. let me find a good one. Mm -hmm. That was a really little one. I think Stephanie got the good one. That, that one looks good. It's kind of hidden. I don't know if. Oh, yeah. This one looks good. There's another one right there, too. Ooh, let me try this one. This one? Yeah, and then you can throw the stem into the into the chickens. Oh, into the chicken coop. That'll Love make them that. happy. <laughs> oh, they'll be so happy. <laughs> so same with our chickens. Um, try to go. give them all of our scraps. They love them. Oh, they're happy. That more than anything. And then our chickens' legs. So if we need them in the restaurant, or sometimes we're selling them when we have a ton. Um, there's times and periods where we get so many eggs, we're just selling a lot of them. Just to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have, I think it's over 50 chickens in there. Right wow. Now. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Um, and then in the back buildings out here is actually where we make everything. All the wines and all the ciders where we bottle and can everything and then where we make all of our beers. Okay. So cool. Back in the day, we were really only local to us in the Lakeland Division of Publix. We would sell a small amount. Right now we're statewide in Florida, so you can find us in almost every single Publix oh, in wow. the state of Florida. So we went from producing, you know, just in these smaller barrels to now we're needing to produce every barrel that we have and these big tanks as well. That's huge. Yeah. We got, I want to say we got this piece of equipment last year when we realized how much cider we're producing. Mm -hmm. so, so this is all for the cider this here. This is all ciders here. Yep. So all okay. ciders over here, cider in there, and then these are oh, all wine. wines. Mm -hmm. Wow. Blueberries, 100% blueberry wine. I love the process. We're doing it all right here. So what we have here, now it's just 100% blueberry fermenting. It's going to take about two weeks. We get the skins out. Uh, present like a almost like a uh, grape wood. Okay, so you said it's about a two week process. Yeah, two week process, correct. Okay. But right now, the only thing that's not going to be helping me is the temperature. These doesn't uh, have temperature control. I mean, mm. they're not jacking it, so that's the only thing that's not going to be helping me. So, uh, so does it work better when it's in warmer? The wine? Yeah, because you extract everything out there even warmer. When it's warm. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. And, and then after this two week process, then uh, kind of what's next? Uh, the next process of these would be uh, stabilizing it. Uh, that way it doesn't re-ferment, which is going to be the sugar. Okay. And then from there, uh, we'll run into the centipede. I know a lot of times it's better than, you know, most wines you know of, it's like the longer 
that you keep them, yeah. the better yeah. they're going to yeah. be. Ours aren't like that. Well, they, so uh, you're not going to age the our eat, blueberry that's, that's wine. That yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So a fruit wine yeah. really doesn't age together. That's actually good to know. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you're not going to keep a Keel and Curly bottle for 15 years and say, hey, this was this good. This will be yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> this was a vintage 2022. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to add more stuff to We're not adding that. It's just not the preservatives. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. They came in their nice all kind of, helicopter. I don't know if you heard yeah, it we, earlier. I did hear it. Yeah, yeah, that was us. Brother, no yeah. Right. What's Everyone going on here? Out. Why is there a helicopter? I didn't Where are they circling? Like, who are they looking for? Families can come and pick strawberries and then sit down and eat at the restaurant, listen to live music, support a local yeah. vendor. It's kind of, it's just like a nice experience and destination and spend the whole day out here. I know sometimes people are like, oh, Point City is a little far, but it's more like- Not by actually, a helicopter. Not by a helicopter. That's all they need. They yeah, need just everybody comes in a helicopter like we did. <laughs> That's yeah, what I we need more of. We left, it was probably 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you, you and we messaged me. And we kind of meandered around a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, you messaged me and I was like, okay, I'll go out there in 15 minutes and there you were. So, <laughs> so it was like perfect. And we weren't even, you know, going that fast. We just kind of yeah. meandered over. Yeah, we so. have yeah. space for parking. Yes. For the helicopter. So, yeah, <laughs> so anybody, anybody wants to bring the helicopter If you want to bring a helicopter, they do have room to um, park by the boat. There's a big yellow truck. It worked perfectly. It worked perfect. And then, of course, people with People regular... are going to call and say, hey, can I bring my helicopter over? <laughs> hey, us helicopter people are pretty cool. Yeah. So. I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> okay. So you've heard that. If you have your helicopter, you can come out call here. Call Wendy first. Yeah, call I need, Wendy. Yeah, call we'll, Wendy first. We'll put our contact information below. Don't worry. That's funny. I and then that. for normal people, they can uh-huh. bring their car bring here. Bring their car. And you have plenty of parking. Yeah, and we do RVs too. So we have a harvest. We're part of Harvest Host. So okay. we let you stay overnight with your RV here. We have plenty of space for you. So cool. That's cool. neat. Yeah. Plenty of things to do. Speaking of helicopters, since I'm part of the flight crew, I could not, obviously, have any adult beverages. So I grabbed the camera from the photographer and let the ladies enjoy a few drinks. Ooh, that doesn't even taste like a beer. I know, right? As you can see from their reactions, they loved it. Ooh, sounds really good. That tastes like a blueberry muffin. Our hosts were so kind, they even provided my crew with an amazing lunch. Stephanie, what did you think about this place? I loved it. This is such a cool experience, and I loved learning and seeing the whole process of making all these different types of drinks. It's the coolest thing, being able to like go behind the scenes. So have you ever seen like a winery I've, behind the scenes? I've never been to a winery, honestly. I, I think I've like... I've heard of, I've obviously heard of wineries and and, the tours and everything, but I've never actually gone on one. So this was a really cool, fun, new experience. Yeah, it was something I'd never done. Obviously, some of the people watch the videos. I've been to a coffee roast before, but I've never been to a winery. And to kind of get the behind the scenes to see how things were made was just really cool. Yeah. For date night, was it, you know, from a female's perspective? Yeah, I think this would be so much fun. And all the different activities that they do hold here, like the first Saturday of every month, a little craft type thing. And you can come in and have lunch or dinner and and spend some time outside and do the pick your own thing, which I thought was really cool too. I think definitely something we'll have to come back and check that out. Yeah. So, well, I appreciate you hopping in the helicopter. Thank you with so us. much for having we me. We had a lot of fun, and hopefully, we'll get you back in the helicopter yes, again. Yes, I would love that. All right. <laughs>